Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, finally doing another video, wow, who would have thought it? Uh, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now, this sort of like really bright kind of green canary-ish look going on uh, with really glowy skin and a nude lip, so yeah, I hope you really enjoy it. Um, if you want to see how I got the makeup I'm wearing right now, then please keep watching. Okay, so as you can see, I've done one eye already. Um, and we're just going to get started on the other eye. So I'm going to first of all prime using the oh, focus using the Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection in the shade Lemon. Um, <coughs> got a cold. And I'm just going to do that, use this to carve out my eyebrow and um, prime my eye. So. And then I'm just gonna pop some more on and prime my eyelid. And then I'm blending that out with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, which I am getting a new one off because this one is disgusting. I need to wash them more often, but I'm terrible at doing that, as you know. I cleaned all my brushes last night, so we're doing this look with like fresh brushes and it's amazing, it feels so good. I should probably wash them again tonight though because they'll have like crazy colours all over them. <laughs> Isn't so good when you have to do neutral looks for uni. So now that that's all primed, we're not going to be setting that base, I'm going to leave it tacky. Um, and I'm going to be using the Sleek um, Ultra Matte's version 1 Brights palette for this tutorial um, because it's got some really cool matte colours in it and I really just love this palette. It blends out amazingly and yeah, all the eyeshadows are of really good quality. So I'm firstly going to go in with the darker green colour um, and I'm using the Morphe R41 brush for this. Um, we are going in with the darkest colour first technique for blending as always. Well, not as always really because I've only just started doing this. But anyway, yeah, so... Let's get rid of that from our base. Um, and I'm just gonna start going in with this green colour on the outer corner first. Just packing it in lightly and then getting that really nice like rounded shape at the, e at the side. And then the inner corner. And then I'm just gonna join them up in the middle and I'm gonna go over where my natural crease lies um, just because my eyes are quite um, sunken in so I want to kind of like make the illusion that my crease is actually higher than it looks so yeah we're gonna put those join them up just above where my natural crease lies and once you've got that shape down you can just go in and re-intensify that colour make it really kind of packed on and pigmented and yeah making sure to keep that nice rounded shape to this look. A little goes a long way with these eyeshadows, so just be careful when putting them on that you're not putting too much on or anything like that. And also don't be um, don't be concerned about not keeping enough space in the middle because we are actually gonna be using concealer to just um, cut the halo eye, just so we can get the blue in the middle more pigmented when it comes to doing that. Like so, that's the first green colour. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a smaller fluffy blending brush. This is actually one that I got in a Makeup Revolution palette, which was like four pounds, and it's honestly one of the best blending brushes I've got. So I'm gonna go in with the yellow shade from the same palette, and I'm gonna tap off the excess, and we're just gonna start blending out around the edges of that. It kind of will mix and make a sort of lime green colour, so that's the kind of look we're going for with this. As you can see, I'm kind of going backwards and forwards in windscreen wiper motions and also circular motions. Just to kind of get that blend the way we want it. Get that sort of seamless line between the colours. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to stick my Shane Dawson documentary back on because, you know, Shane Dawson, I haven't watched it yet, so. Thank you. 
And then just to um, go back in, I'm going to go back in with a bigger fluffy blending brush and that yellow shade just to kind of blend it out even further. And this is what's going to get that really nice sort of blown out look to it. And this can be a little bit messier because this is what's going to make the blend really sort of seamless and nice. basically what I'm going to do after that is just go in again with the green colour and just sort of re-pack it on in the outer and inner corners and just blend it back up into the yellow. Just basically re-intensifying all those colours. And then going back in with the smaller blending brush. Basically, it's just about going in between like all of your brushes and all of your colours until you're kind of happy with how the blend looks, to be honest. Okay, so, sorry I'm getting distracted by this because it's a really good series. So, what I'm going to do now is we're going to go in and cut out the... Ugh, why won't it focus? cut out the um, halo eye so I'm gonna go in with a smaller detailed brush um, and the same concealer that we used to prime the eyelid and that's the collection lasting perfection in the shade lemon and I'm gonna pop some of that on the back of my hand you guys know the drill and just basically map out the cut crease um, basically what I like to do is look ahead and then like dot it just above um, where that line is because obviously I've got quite a defined lower crease um, so I want that to I want it to show like above that so like there-ish and this doesn't have to be like perfect or sharp or anything because we are going to be covering it up with a blue eyeshadow later so all the aim is here really is just to get a nicer base for the blue to sit on top rather than a sort of like sharp but defined cut crease look why won't my camera focus? Okay, so now I'm going to go in back with the green shade and the same um, Morphe R41 br brush that we used um, and just sort of like pack it onto the inner corner and outer corner again just to blend in to the halo a little bit. And I'm literally pushing it rather than brushing it on because that's what you're going to get the pigment and the good blend with that. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe um, MB16 brush and I'm going to take the darkest blue in the Sleek palette, the same one that we've been using the whole tutorial, and I'm just going to basically brush that onto that space there. And I'm going to go in with an actual more defined brush just to um, get up into the cut crease line there. Ow, I just stabbed myself in the eye with my brush. That was not nice. And then basically gonna go in with the green again and just blend out those edges. Green is a really hard eyeshadow to work with, I'm not gonna lie to you. How's this blue to be honest? Like I feel like this blend has gone really like patchy and weird. But I'm kind of just going to go with it and hope for the best because, you know, we're all still learning. I'm going to go in with that yellow shade again on the smaller bending brush and just go back over. And then the big blending brush once more just to get rid of any more harsh lines and then... 
that's the lids done. So what I'm gonna do now is highlight that brow bone. So I'm gonna be using, oh my God, my legs really hurt from doing this. <clears throat> highlight the brow bone, so I'm gonna be using the shiny white color from the Morphe um, 35K palette and just Okay, and then I'm going to go in with some concealer and we're going to do the lower lash line. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for the under eye concealer just because, you know, it's got the right tones in it and stuff. And I'm just going to dab that on and then I'm going to go in with the Morphe E14 brush and just kind of brush it out a little bit. Oh, what is that in the inner corner there? No, no, we don't like you. Black blobby thing. Just being careful not to sort of like get the way that nice sort of rounded blend at the edge there. Um, and I'm gonna go back in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and just blend it out. Kind of a bit willy-nilly actually, I'm a bit violent when it comes to blending. Concealer. And then we can go in and do the lower lash line. This is actually kind of the easiest part of this, I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna go back in with the green colour on the same brush again. You literally need three colours and three brushes for this tutorial, it's so easy. Um, and just run that over the lower lash line, just making sure it joins up with the uh, crease colours on the outside there. And then I'm going to take the small blending brush, that little one with the yellow shade and just blend it out and join it all up. Like so. So once you've got that done, we're gonna go back in with the brow bone highlight color on the E24 brush, on the E24 brush from Morphe, and just do our inner corner. some white into my waterline. Oh no, I'm not gonna do that first. I'm gonna tight line first of all with black gel liner. And then I'm gonna do my waterline. And then we're gonna just add a thin line of liquid liner across the top lash line just so we, that the lashes that we're gonna use blend in nicely. And then I'm just gonna add top lash mascara for this. So, what now? Lashes. Lashes. Where are my lashes? There they are. So, I'm going to be using the Doll Beauty lashes um, in the style Gilly for this look because they're sort of like rounded and pretty cool. They look very tatty in the packaging, but I promise they're not. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna just gonna add them on probably off camera because I'm very useless at doing false eyelashes And then I'll get back to you about the face So as you can see I've put some eyelashes on and I've also done lower lash mascara um, I did end up using a different set of eyelashes um, in the end. I'm actually using the Olivia eyelashes instead which are kind of more winged out, which kind of suit the look actually. I think they're really cool. I really love these lashes. These are like my favorite pair of lashes ever. So yeah, we are gonna move on to the face now. Um, I've gone for a wee, I've wetted my beauty blender. I am all ready to go. I need to find something to get my hair back with. 
so we're not all ready to go really because that wasn't a lie. And I'm gonna find a bobby pin quickly. Okay, bobby pin has been fetched. I'm gonna just put the camera down again a little bit. It's a little bit better, really. Yeah, that's fine. Cool, um, so I'm just gonna get this bit of hair out of my face. Wow, good look, good look. So I'm gonna be using the Ordinary Serum Foundation for this and just using one pump on the back of my hand because that's literally all you need. It's so, such good coverage. So I'm just gonna dot that all over my face like I normally do with foundation. Like so, and then just blend it out with my damp beauty blender. A damp sponge works so much better with this foundation than anything else. So, yeah. Just saying. I know it looks like very light coverage as well and you probably can't even see that I'm putting anything on. But to be honest, for me, I like the sort of light everyday co coverage that this gives. Um, I'm not really into my heavy foundations. So yeah, this is really nice. Being careful around my eye area. Don't want to get too enthusiastic with the blending. My radiator's clicking. That's good. My eyebrows are in need of serious pluck. Actually, I might just try and quickly sort that out now. Cool. Ow, ow. Oh, my shoulder hurts. Don't get hit by cars, kids. It hurts. Um, right, so we are now going to go in with contour, where have my contour kits gone? So I'm going to be using the Sleek Contour Kit for this on the B Cosmetics Blush Contour Brush. There is a lot going on with the eyes at this time, so we don't want anything kind of too harsh to detract from the eyes. Like so, whoa, and a little bit of down the jawline as well. Okay, so I'm hoping I have enough memory to sort out, to finish this video, and then I can sort out my storage issues. So, to finish off, I'm going, to finish off the skin that is, I'm going to go in with the NYX Strobe of Genius Highlight, I said that really weird, anyway, Highlight Palette, and I'm going to take the middle shade here um, for a bronze slash blush because I'm pale as fuck and it works really well. It just adds like a really nice little glow. Oh, I'm feeling more glowy and tropical. And then for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Real Technique setting brush and these two shades here, this one and this one. I'm just going to mix them together. This is kind of like my standard highlighter colour and just put that on the cheekbones. Shiny. And on the nose. I'm actually going to take a little bit of the gold one too because that kind of like ties in a little bit with the eye look. So I guess that kind of works, doesn't it? So I was kind of thinking just then when I was having my storage issues about what to do for the lips. I'm gonna move this down and get another one. Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? I wish I'd done the whole thing this angle now. Whoops, oh well. Um, yeah, I was kind of thinking of what to do for the lips because Celebrity Skin is a little bit less nude than I would have liked. So what I think I'm gonna do, I've left Celebrity Skin in the bathroom. So I'm just gonna go and get that. So I just stubbed my toe really badly and now I'm in so much pain. Anyway, what I figured I would do to make Celebrity Skin a little bit more nude, I figured I would mix it with this seriously, seriously nude lipstick that I've got from NYX, which is called Cairo. Um, and I know that Hannah Renee and like loads of other YouTubers, and I think Rachel Leary, why is my thumb suddenly started aching? Um, they all like swear by this lipstick, but it's way too nude for me. So I think what I'm gonna do is try and mix these two together and see what happens. <laughs> It's a little bit too pinky, but actually that's quite nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that, I think. Okay. I think it 
kind of works. I think, I hope it kind of works. Uh, but yeah, um, I guess that's the finished look, really. I hope you enjoyed my comeback to YouTube. Um, hopefully I will try and do some more stuff, but like I don't really know what. So if you guys have any ideas for me, please let me know in the comments below and I will try and get them out for you. Um, other than that, please give the comment... Can't talk any better. Other than that, please give the video a like, a comment and a subscribe uh, because it all does really help me out. Remember to turn on notifications if you want to know when I upload. I won't be too annoying because as you know, I never upload. So, I don't... Yeah, anyway. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. So yeah, bye.